So we're going to take a sample of Leah's tap water, and then we're going to take a sample of her hot water. The tap water hadn't been flushed, and we're going to take the sample from the tap water and send it to two different laboratories. One, Pace Analytical Laboratories in Florida, and the other one to ALS here in town, just so we can get a second opinion. And we suspect this water probably has the uh, MCHM in it because it hasn't been flushed since the uh, do not use order came on. This is a trick black. All right, okay. this, this stays unsealed and it just has water in it. Uh -huh. And they use that to determine if any impurities from any of the environment in the truck, in the car. Or oh, whatever, right, we'll show up then on we'll that. We'll show it in there. And if it does, then that tells you that these samples, you know, are potentially been exposed to the same thing. I understand. Vault organic compounds, these two vials. I'm not sure what they want to do with these two amber liter bottles, but I think they just want to preserve to have, yes. make sure they got plenty of sample. And then for the other lab, they're going to get three vault organic compound bottles. Okay. And each lab will run basically the same tests. Okay, time to sample. All that's just paperwork. That half hour is just paperwork, making sure things are together, making sure all the bottles have labels that they've all been, that they all say the same thing that the paperwork has labels, both in the chain of custody form that goes to the laboratory that tells them, you know, work, and then also my little magic book that I take with me that I use to, to get meter chemistry and make notes like what you were talking about, about your situation with the water. Where does this right. sample, where, just to answer the At question, point? where does this sample come from, where, how's it been, how long has it been sitting around? Yes. I've already run some water out of here. You know, this is the easy part of it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try not to get too many air bubbles in here, but this kind of bottle you really can't you really can't control for that. The other kind of bottles are designed specifically so you don't have any headspace, any air bubbles in there. Right. That are uh, because it has oxygen in it, and oxygen is okay. what organic molecules need to oxidize to decompose what's in those jars, and we don't want anything to decompose. We want to test what's actually in the water at the time, time we collect it. So there's also hydrochloric acid in these bottles as a preservative. These are specially designed little caps uh -huh. that will push the water out. There's a little air bubble, let him come out. And then these are going to go in the cooler in about two minutes. And these are going to go in another cooler for the other lab. Yeah, you'll have to turn it off to flush it because I mean, it's got really hot water. And you're yeah. going to have to hook a hose to it. Okay. Or either that or do the bucket brigade thing. I think we can go buy a hose. Yeah, we have a hose in the garage, right? Okay, where's that little ring? Um, over here on the, the dryer. Oh, okay. Is this? You're welcome. I'm not sure, but it's threaded, and I think that. Let's just keep kids from accidentally messing with it, probably. <laughs> Which is understandable. Or adults like me, who knows? Let's be very careful. There we go. This is gas, right? Yes, gas hot water heater. Ugh, I smell it. Oh, yep, yeah, that's what I showered in. Fracking in Candyland? <laughs> Have you seen that? I have not seen that one. What is it? Oh, wait. <laughs> Or is the part of the 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 no, it's the comedy one comedy guy? Oh yeah, yeah John Stewart. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Notice we're testing on our water at 111. The most recent palindrome. He oh, called it fracking in Candyland. Fracking in Candyland. Candy. Now look here, look here, look at these molecules moving up towards the surface. And the reason they're doing that is because this stuff that I just got all over my hands. Oh gosh. Is hydrophobic. It's a polar molecule. And it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's nonpolar. Water's polar. This stuff will not, it's, hy it's, it's hydrophobic. You can see it doesn't want to mix with that water. And it's lighter than water. It's floating up to the surface. Oh. Right. So this stuff's, it also, 
somewhere in your hot water heater is on the sides of the hot water heater. Well, you can see how soluble it is in water. Not very. So it's coming in your system. It's not water sol very water soluble. Some of it's, sol but you can see how all the little solid particles of it. And then it floats because it uh, has a higher buoyancy. It's less dense than water. So what's happening is this stuff is going up in your hot water heater and collecting like a ring at the top of the water level. Then when you flush it back out, it's going to form a bathtub ring inside your hot water heater. And then when you flush it, some of it's going to go back into solution. And the next time you flush it, some more. It's only 3 or 4% soluble. So the other 95% of it is sitting in your hot water heater. You're going to have to flush this hot water heater a lot of times to get this shit out of here. That's terrible. Wow. Is any of that stuff supposed to be in there? The collar wise? No. This should be clear. We're collecting water samples on January 18th. Approximately 1.30 in the afternoon. On the west side of Charleston. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is, and it's little clumps of those molecules all clumped together because they're hydrophobic. They don't like water, and they're trying to get away from the water, so they're clumping together just like a fat uh, oil would if you put in spaghetti water. You know, mm -hmm. it'll they'll move away from each other, but then they'll clump back together. It's flocculated. Yeah. And that's what it is, too, a flocculum. So that's a perfect example. You think it'll pass through the human, our, our, our digestive system? Uh, you see that air bubble? See yeah. that air bubble? Yes. we got to get rid of that. Okay. Um, I mean, who knows? <laughs> not, not enough testing's been done on to have even an inkling of whether that's going to be the case or not. This could be hard to get an air bubble going up because it's so... Milkier than this one. Yeah, yeah. Because it's caught in the neck of this drain pipe. Tell me what it smells like. It smells like sweet candy, li sweet candy licorice. Not like an anise black licorice, but like the red, like the ones that you pull apart, like would, shoestring licorice. That's red. Would you drink it? There's no way I would drink that. It's not sweet enough to drink by any means. Even if you put sugar in it? No. Sucralose? No. Is this Stevia? <laughs> no. I would not drink that water. I will not drink that water. Bathe in it? I will not bathe in that water. Wash your clothes in it? I w at this point, I will not wash my clothes in that either. You're going to wait till it gets diluted? Yes, or I'm going to find myself living someplace else where I can drink water and bathe and wash clothes. Want another? Want another jar of this? While I'm down here. Sure. I mean, uh, another thing. I, I, I really oh yeah! Want. Oh yeah! 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 Yes, I do. So this is water coming out of the tank. I'd like to take one of these with me. That's fine with me. We've got some glass jars that you you can put it in. Yeah, I'm getting some water on the floor back here. That's okay. I mean, it's not, but it is. If you give me a paper towel, while I got these gloves on. Yes. I'll see what I can get. Oh, it smells so sweet. Would you bathe in that? No. Would I you did, bathe in that, I did Dr. bathe Sash? in that. Watch how this, now watch how this is happening, okay? It's all kind of suspended in there because it's been in turbulent because we let it out of the thing. But where's it going? You can see it accumulating and migrating to the top of this pan. 
I also see vapor coming off the pan a little bit. I can't see that. But... Just a little bit of steam, like kind of. Uh-huh. And that stuff is going to come. It's weird. You know, most stuff will settle to the bottom, and this stuff is settling to the top. Look, you can see it on the surface. Look how thick it is. I gotta set this down. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's like bubbly. That's why I have trouble getting good sand. And there, it's like the it's trapping, trapping water or air bubbles in it. Yeah. Okay, paper towels. I was gonna clean up. Uh, on the washer dryer behind yeah, you. Okay. Thursday, approximately 4 p.m., I took a shower and it smelled sweet like candy during that shower. Um, when I got out of the shower that day, I looked at my face and I remember thinking that it looked scalier and redder than usual. About the degree of using like face soap and really scrubbing and exfoliating. Um, so I put face cream on, but knew, knew it seemed different. And then at 6 o'clock that evening I found out that we were under no water use except to flush the toilet. So from that point on we just used the water a couple times to flush the toilet. I noticed the smell when I started paying attention to it, which would have been on a when I was bike riding home um, on Thursday evening around 6:30. After I'd been made aware, I had heard the report in the early in the morning they're they're investigating a smell, um, but it's Charleston and there's always smells. So I had almost been compliant enough just to be like, whatever. It's just it's the daily norm. And that's what's really fearful, is that we've gotten to a point where the norm is that there's mysterious smells at times. So the alarm in my head didn't quite go off, but then once they said, don't use the water, and I was biking home and breathing in it, it then I smelled it because I was like, allowing myself to consciously realize it was there and smell it. I am worried about the long-term effects of carcinogens and possible birth defects to the people who who are, who are pregnant, and to the small children. Um, I worry about the long-term repercussions.